Hi guys, today I'm just going to do a quick demo on the Canon 7D. So I've not done one of these for a while. So it's a Canon 7D I'm looking at today. It's got a standard kit lens on and I'm just going to show you guys the settings for your aperture, shutter and ISO on this particular model. So um, it's really, really easy to do say so tricks. Just switch it on and your camera will come on. So there's no card in there at the moment. But if you literally just press the Q button, okay press the q button and it will take you to your menu and to change your aperture and your shutter so that is your shutter that is your aperture and that is your iso so in order to change it all you need to do is just click on that and then hover through the thing that you need to change so if you click on that one and just literally increase or decrease the shutter speed to whatever you're taking so for example if it's in really good light you might want to decrease the shutter speed um to like maybe one forward slash 30 or 20th of a second um so and you can take it all the way down if you want if you do slow shutter speed work maybe you want to like make sort of kind of light sort of light drawings and maybe sort of water fountain type imagery you can decrease the shutter speed but in that sense you like need to play around with your f-stop and your app your shutter um sorry your um aperture sorry so if i just increase that again so there you go i've increased that again um and then when you're happy with it just click click just hover through like this just select that and again your f-stop you can increase and decrease so your f-stop is basically the opening in the camera so the bigger the no number the smaller the opening the smaller the opening the big the smaller the number the bigger the opening so i've just changed that to 5.7 again press your q button and if i click on my q button again get myself back in focus there we go q button go to um go to ISO and I can increase and decrease my ISO and this camera goes up to 64,000 um, and you can also sort of kind of or roughly almost take it up to 128,000 as well so low ISO on this really day Drew um, you know new models have so much higher ISO this one only goes up to 64,000 back to Q button so if I click on my Q button again I can go back to this and again change whatever I need via this as well okay so basically what i've shown you to today is your shutter your aperture and your iso your iso is basically your sensitivity to light so if you click on that like today's a really nice day so i'm shooting this just in my you know sort of back garden really take truth so if i just reduce that down to 100th or auto okay so really if you're doing it outdoors you want to make sure your iso is kind of auto i, I would say or the lowest number you can get which is 100 really especially in a nice sunny day like today so essentially those three things you need to control okay and other things such as your um your focal points which a lot of people kind of talk about is over here as well but i'll do that in the next video okay so guys thanks for watching um and i'll see you for the next one